Thanks, Dash. Sitting here with Alan Iskander, just uh, having a look back at our first year of a bit stars and stripes when we had a look at American sport in uh, 2012-13. And, uh, of course, all the betting options involved. For those who are interested in having a bet on American Sport, Al, how'd you look back on the first year? Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed I thoroughly enjoyed the show. And, obviously, the privilege of being able to go to the Super Bowl just really topped off an amazing season. So, um, for our first year, I really, really enjoyed And I'm looking forward to doing it all again next year. Um, I thought that uh, interaction through our social media, we've had... F- fantastic positive feedback through Twitter and through Facebook in relation to Bet Stars and Stripes. Um, and our text messages and phone calls have been great. So it's been really well received. Look, I know I'm a converted because I've been following the NFL probably for uh, four or five years now closely. Not what so got much. you onto it, Doc? How'd you get I onto it? I don't know. Just, oh, I suppose, when you turn the tally on on a Monday morning and there's a footy on, particularly over the summer months, you just naturally watch it. And I mean, I've sort of watched Super Bowls and playoffs, I guess, for the last 20 years. I remember when Don Lane used to introduce the Super Bowl yeah. on, on the, on the uh, Monday afternoon on, I think it was on SBS, wasn't it? Yeah. So I've always sort of been a, a fan of it. I've just sort of got into the game the last four or five years and just love it now. Genuinely love the game. Never been a huge NBA fan. Um, there's just so much, it seems to be so much basketball, I sort of lose track of it. We'll have to convert you, Doc. Uh, but I've always, obviously, always liked American baseball, always watch uh, the divisional playoffs and then the... Uh, than the big ones themselves. So, yeah, um, it's sort of curious actually having been over there last week and uh, given the fact that betting on, for an American, betting on sport in America is legal in one state, yet all the media is driven by lines and head-to-head, you know, all the head-to-head betting, the lines and so forth. It's quoted in the papers every day on all the news reports and in the uh, in the rev- or previews of the game talking about who the favourites are, yet basically sports betting it's not saying banned in America, but in a way, you know, it's it does sort of uh, act under these sort of handcuffs for your average punter. And, and the funny thing is, and I think we touched on it last week, the funny thing is, I reckon 90% of people that watch the sport bet on the sport. So what they're forced to do as a consequence is they've got their local bookie down the road yeah. and it's just some dude who, hold, who, who makes a book on a game and they walk down, they have their $10 on it or $20 on it. It's pretty amazing that at some stage they'll probably legalise that industry in America and when they do, the floodgates will open over there because they all already do it and yeah. it's hard to do. Well, I've got a feeling that uh, the record of prohibition is not that flash yeah. <laughs> over the decades, over the centuries. So it is funny. I mean, internet gambling is the same in America. You're not allowed to do it. I found actually having a bet in America on an Australian website um, that they actually closed my account down until I came back into the country. I mean, they're actually, even this company, I mean, what's your position on uh, people in America wanting to bet with you? They're not allowed to. No, they're not allowed to. And the bank, so A, they're not allowed to. um, And B, the banks over there don't let you do it either. But I mean, nonetheless, what we're seeing is that particularly with the coverage of sport in Australia, with the coverage of sport, US sport namely, being improving year on year on year, US sport has seen amazing growth for us. It's probably one of, uh, it starts from a low base, but probably the biggest growth sport across all sports that we bet on at BetStar. So um, we're really, really proud and really, really happy to be involved with a show like Bet Stars and Stripes. Um, and it's actually increased my appetite. I'm only a newcomer to NFL as well, Doc. And I guess I've always played basketball. So the NBA has always been something I'm familiar with, particularly growing up in the days of Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan mm. and Larry Bird and all those guys. But being a recent convert to the NFL, it's amazing how it's many lengths game. ahead the NFL are of any other sport in America. They just they really dominate the US sports market. No doubt. Okay, so give us an example. Go back five years. What percentage of your turnover in American sport was NBA as opposed to NFL or, or Major League Baseball or whatever else? So NFL was always NFL was always um, a bigger chunk of it. Was it more so than the NBA? Yeah, that surprises me. Well, it, 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 you, you've got to, if you bring it down to a per game basis. I mean, there's there's yeah, eighty two there's right. eighty two <laughs> games in the season of NBA, and there's however many 16. teams there are. There's sixteen games you're playing in the NFL and thirty two teams. So yeah. by product by by, by yeah, sport yeah. it's different. But if you bring it down to a per game basis, NFL was always bigger. But you know our growth, even if you look just over the last twelve to twenty four months in terms of, and let's not talk turnover because Turnover is not what it's all about. If you look at our growth in US sports just on number of bets, number of clients, um, our average bet size goes down, which is a positive. Like, you know, so our average bet size on NFL might be 40 or $50 sort of thing. Um, all those key stats have seen enormous growth, 100% growth probably in the last 12 to 24 months. 
And uh, one can only assume uh, it's just going to keep growing because I think the love of American sport, and I'm, as you said, I mean, NBA has already been well established in the uh, the mindset of the Australian sports fan and the Australian sports punter. But the NFL is the real development uh, sport, isn't it? And and the and the great thing about NFL, which again we got to experience firsthand, is they have got so much money to invest in this sport. So, um, so they just keep plowing money back into it. They make sure that every touch point with the NFL is first class, and you've got no critique of it, no criticism of it. And mm. as a consequence, they'd have to do something diabolically wrong to mess this up. And and <laughs> and, and good on them. I applaud yeah. them for it. What do you think? Uh, going to be any changes next season as far as Bet Stars uh, or Bet Star goes and their approach to American sport? No, the only change we'll have is we'll offer more and more products. I mean, we, we you know, the, the the punters, our members are receptive. Yeah, let to me it. ask you. Okay, I mean, there's uh, there's only so many novelty bets you can introduce. Did you find? I mean, obviously, say with AFL football, the novelty bet type is a growth market, um, and you're probably more. Uh, got all these figures closer at hand than I have. But I assume that stuff like possessions and first goal scorers and all that sort of stuff is becoming pretty popular with a common putter. So it gets it gets more and more mainstream. I mean you can use AFL, NFL, they're all they're all similar things. You've got your your core markets, your peripheral markets. But as you get more and more interest within a sport, then the, your clients sort of filter out and get further and further along that, you know, outside that pie graph, if you like, and mm. get out to some of those um, more peripheral markets. But, you know, an overs and unders market in Australia in Australia wouldn't often have been bet on. In the last 12 months, yeah. we've got real growth in overs and unders. Yeah. That's a very popular form of betting in the U.S. We're getting Absolutely. real growth in that. Um, total yards, overs and unders <laughs> are getting growth. Um Number of sacks, all all of those yeah. kind of peripheral markets are really starting to get some traction. And you blokes blessed as always. Uh, I think I noticed with the first score in the Super Bowl, the outsider was a a uh, a Baltimore touchdown. What do you think the first score was? <laughs> something Baltimore touchdown. Something. You're still you're, <laughs> something. you're still upset, Doc, because you you wanted to be on them halfway during the season, and then you got it's off. It's not about me, mate. Yeah, <laughs> of course not. Of course not. But um, but I guess this is just an opportunity to uh, to thank all the listeners for their loyalty over the uh, over the last twenty or so weeks in relation to this. It's the first full season that Bet Stars and Stripes had. Um, obviously, your involvement and Ed's involvement, who couldn't be on this uh, on this today. But um, thanks very much for your involvement and for Ed, and thanks, like I said, for the the listeners who have supported the show, given us heaps of positive feedback. And I know personally and on behalf of BetStar, we are very excited about later on this year in September, kicking off the show again for the NFL season. And I can't we will, wait. We will cover every single week again for the NFL season, up to and including the Super Bowl, and then a wrap-up episode of the Super Bowl. Will you have the arguably the greatest prize uh, on radio, and that is the NFL Game Pass, which I bought. And I just think it's one of the great tools for a, uh, a an American sports fan that NFL Game Pass, and we gave one away every week. We gave one away every week, and we'll do the same thing again. Uh, we'll do the same thing again next season as well. So at the end of the year, we'll be doing it. And then as you get towards the end, I think we moved over to an NBA Game Pass because yep. there weren't that many games left. But absolutely, we we love US sport, and we want the listeners to be able to watch it and love it as much as we do. Al, it's been a great season. We'll catch you again in September. Thanks, Doc.